guys, happy holidays. Um, drinking my coffee this morning with a little bit of eggnog in there. Don't tell anybody. Anyway, this morning I wanted to introduce you to a product made by Plaid called Simply Screen. And it's a make your own silk screen kit so that you can go ahead and screen um, t-shirts, fabric, uh, you could screen wood, anything that you want, and especially if you want to reproduce that image several times. Um, so basically the kit comes all packaged in this box. Um, it comes with a, a light socket, um, a light bulb housing and socket. And I already went ahead and installed it. You just screw, there's a little ring and you screw it to the housing and then you put your light bulb in there. Really simple, I know you can do it. Anyway, then um, you close up the lid. What I want to show you is how to actually prepare your screen for silk screening. Um, this project is not super easy. There's a little bit of a learning curve to it, but once you figure it out, it's really easy. So I want to go ahead and give you a couple of those tips so that you can go ahead and just start screening and it's gonna be a lot easier for you. So here's the first tip for you. The silk screen kit comes with this little tray that has a ridged bottom. Um, several of the other bloggers that I know have found that, that this, it was harder to scratch or sometimes it left the pattern on the bottom. So they recommended using um, just a plain tub or you know the bottom of your sink. Something that's flat and smooth might work a little bit easier and is not as likely to damage your screen. The first thing that you're going to want to do for your silk screen is come up with your design. Um, I went ahead and did it on the computer. You don't need to do it on the computer. You can certainly just use a Sharpie um, ink pen and use it on just regular copier, you know, computer paper. Don't buy any kind of special paper. This kit is made to work with regular paper. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your screen paper out of your light kit. Make sure that you're working in a dim area. Um, you can use just a lamp in the corner and turn off all your overhead lights and you know just don't have any direct sunlight on it. So what I did is I went ahead and I cut down um, a sheet so that I'm left with this half page because the half page is going to be the perfect size to cover up this and it gives me enough space on the sides. So what you're going to do next is you're going to peel this top sheet off and you're going to turn that sticky side down on top of your image and just kind of line it up so it's centered on your screen. And then you're going to burnish it down really good. Make sure that the screen adheres to your image. Now, here is a trick that I learned from the makers of Simply Screen. What is going to really help you out and have you give you a really good sharp line is to use a piece of plexiglass or a piece of glass. So what you're going to do is you're actually going to flip this over so that your image is on top. We're going to open up our kit. So I've got the screen on the bottom. Then I have my image on top and I've flipped it over. And now you're going to Put your piece of plexiglass on top of there, okay? Close it up, and you're gonna go ahead and turn on your kit, and that is going to start exposing your, your um, screen. 25 minutes is up, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the light, and I'm going to remove my screen. I'm going to go ahead and peel the paper off and then I'm going to go ahead and soak the screen in the in water and it's it's just tepid it's like room temperature There's definitely one side that the emulsion is on. It'll really start coming off. Um, but what happens is you have to flip it over because there will be little pieces of emulsion that'll kind of stick to the screen. So it's a good idea to kind of flip it back and forth. I 
Now I'm using like a medium pressure on this just to really get any of the extra emulsion off that is sticking to the screen. And I still have, I don't know if you can see this or not, but there's still like little tiny dots within the letters. I want to make sure that I get that out. I want the letters to be completely clean, white, no fuzzy edges or anything. Well, it's looking pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and flip it over and do the back side. Now that the screen is um, completely cleaned off, I'm going to go ahead and just, just gently pat it dry. And that's my screen.